In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for NaOH plus NiCl2, sodium hydroxide plus nickel-2 chloride. First step, we need to balance the molecular equation. You can see that I have this hydroxide group here and here. I actually have two of them here and one here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the NaOH. Now I have two sodiums, so let's put a 2 as our coefficient here. That balances the sodium. I also have 2 times 1, 2 chlorines, 2 chlorines and then nickel and nickel. So this equation is balanced. This is our molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So it's a strong electrolyte. It's going to split apart into its ions. Chlorides are very soluble. They'll split apart. We have sodium chloride here. That's going to be soluble. And then nickel to hydroxide. Hydroxides in general are insoluble. They don't dissolve in water or dissolve very little with a few exceptions, sodium hydroxide and other hydroxides with group one elements like potassium hydroxide, they're soluble, but the others, they're not. So we're going to put S. It's going to be insoluble, so it's a solid. When this reaction takes place, it falls to the bottom as a solid, and we call that a precipitate. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Sodium's in group one, so it has a one plus ionic charge. The whole hydroxide, that's always one minus. Two sodium ions. And I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Plus the two goes to everything. So two hydroxide ions. Nickel's a transition metal. We can't really tell just looking at it, but the chlorine, that forms one minus ions. We have two of them, so it has to be two plus. That's why we call it nickel two chloride. So we have Ni2+, plus, the nickel-2 ion, plus we have two of those chloride ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, we have two sodium ions plus two chloride ions. And then for the nickel-2 hydroxide, we don't split solids apart. So that's just NiOH2. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. We have in the reactants up here, we have two sodium ions, and then in the products, we have two sodium ions. Cross those out, two chloride ions, and again, in the products, two chloride ions. Cross those out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for NaOH plus NiCl2. I'll clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus nickel 2 chloride. You can see that charge is conserved. We have 2 times the 1 minus. So we have 2 minus here, 2 plus here. They balance out and we have a neutral product in this reaction. You also can count the atoms up and they'll be the same on both sides as well. Often you'll see the positive ion written first and the negative ion written second in the net ionic equation. It really doesn't matter. It's the same net ionic equation. Maybe it looks a little nicer. I don't know. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sodium hydroxide plus nickel 2 chloride. Thanks for watching.